All right, Larry Kruger here at Levi Stadium from the Pig and a Pickle Krug Show with a little 49er video. It is cut down day today in the NFL. Uh, yesterday, that was the cut down day. Today is the day where they signed a bunch of guys to the practice squad. According to Jordan Schultz, the 49ers are signing the veteran wide receiver Terrace Marshall. And, you know, this is a really interesting signing. Once upon a time, Terrace Marshall was the top wide receiver prospect in the nation. Um, in high school. He's a Louisiana kid. He's a big, big, fast guy. 6'2", 205 pounds, 32 and three quarter inch arms, nine and a half inch hands. Second round pick by Carolina in the 2021 draft. And, um, you know, this is a guy who's been on the radar for, for scouts for a long time. I mean, he dislocated his ankle going way back. He broke his leg. Uh, he, once upon a time, he was a star at Parkway High School in in the state of Louisiana. He had 15 touchdowns as a high school junior. And then uh, was a heavy, you know, big time recruit, a four or five star recruit for LSU and um, started as a true freshman for the Tigers. And then in 2019, him, Jamar Chase and Justin Jefferson all had uh, huge years. I think each one of those guys had 10 touchdowns that year. Um, and Chase Jefferson and Terrace Marshall all on one team, and that was the best team in college football. He is the great nephew of jo the late Joe Delaney. Um, Joe Delaney was a running back, great running back, played in the NFL, and sadly died in the early 80s trying to rescue three kids um, in a, in a, from a pond and drowned. Very, very sad story. But um, Terrace Marshall is Joe Delaney's great nephew. So that's kind of an interesting note. Um, what I love about Terrace Marshall is he's got a big catch radius, really big catch radius. He averaged 104 receiving yards per game in the 2020 season. Um, he hasn't been able to get it going in Carolina, but he has not played with great weapons outside of Christian McCaffrey. He has not played uh, with great quarterbacks there. And, you know, you just kind of wonder if you took him – that Terrace Marshall – is a classic example of a football player that is badly in need of a change of scenery. And that's what he gets here with the 49ers. So he goes on the practice squad. Once upon a time, he ran 4-3-7 at his pro day uh, coming out of LSU. So big-bodied receiver, very productive, good hands, ran 4-3-7. Now, I will say this. He really has never played – to that speed level in the NFL. So yeah, did he run 4.37 at his pro day? I believe that he did. But does he play 4.37? No. Um, but what he is, is he's a receiver that's better outside than in the slot. He's not super nifty and quick. What he is though is a big rangy receiver who can high point the ball, can win uh, the 50-50 balls. He understands how to shade his body away from the defender and to keep his body between the ball and, you know, keep his body between the defender and the football. I like him on comeback routes. I like him on out patterns. I like him on decisive stuff. He's a good route runner with decisive movements. He plucks the ball with his hands. He's not a body catcher. I like that quite a bit. Tough guy, great straight line speed. So if you just want to run off the coverage, he can run off the coverage. But if once it gets into you know, the, the stop and start and that kind of thing. He doesn't really play to that 4-3-7 speed. But in this environment, with all these weapons, with Brock Purdy, who's very accurate, um, who knows? Maybe Terrace Marshall can, can find something and find a home here in San Francisco or here with the 49ers. I, I think it's an exciting pickup. He'll go on the practice squad. They've got lots of other options. You know, they need some outside options if Ayuk doesn't sign. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, if if Ayuk doesn't sign, they got to be able to line up and play games in September. They got to have somebody who's got NFL pedigree, who's played some football, who can line up outside and get open and run routes. Um, they don't have that. You know, they got Ronnie Bell. They've got Chris Conley. They've got some nice guys who are decent. You know, decent uh, prospects in their own right. But Marshall has experience outside in the NFL, and if Ayuk does no shows. 
you got this guy you could probably call off the practice squad and, and maybe use in September. So overall, I think it's a good signing for the 49ers. Um, I think it's really an exciting day for Terrace Marshall. This is easily the best team he's ever been on. And his chances, you know, you didn't make it in Carolina. It could be them, it could be you. You don't make it here, it's you. So there's a lot of pressure on Terrace Marshall, but at least he's put himself in a great situation. Big bodied receiver, a team that needs what he offers. Um, a team where that nobody's going to be sitting there going, let's stop Terrace Marshall. He'll blend in. Uh, he'll he he won't draw. You know, Debo's going to draw the double coverage. Kittle's drawn the double. Ayuk's drawn the double. Terrace Marshall is going to be singled up in this offense all day, every day, and he knows it. So um, I'm excited to see how well he moves in practice. Uh, I'll, I'll be see, I'll be interested to see if he's here today. Um, I'm interested to see how much scoot he's got left. How much of that four three seven? does Terrace Marshall still possess? Or has his speed come and gone? Um, or was that, a, was that a faulty time? And was he really more like a 4-5 guy that had a 4-3-7 pro day time, you know, stopped, that, you know, time stopwatch uh, timing of his 40, but maybe he's just not that fast. I think he is straight line fast. I think that's a legit time. I just don't think that he plays that fast. Uh, to me, he's more of a red zone, big bodied threat, and I think he's insurance for Ayuk not showing up. They got to have somebody who's run routes against NFL caliber corners outside who can step in and play right away. And Marshall will give them a guy who at least gives them the option to go to him in the first month of the year if Ayuk's holdout continues. And then if Ayuk's holdout doesn't continue, hey, you stash this guy in the practice squad. He's got ball skills, he's got size, he's got speed. Uh, he was one time a very heralded recruit. Um, who knows? Maybe you'll be able to get something out of him. It's a very favorable offense for a wide receiver for sure. All right. Thanks to Pig and a Pickle for being the title sponsor of The Crew Show. Check them out. They're in Emeryville and Corte Madera. They're open seven days a week in both spots from 11 a.m. till 8 p.m. Also check out um, um, uh, Better. We're also sponsored by Better. And, uh, and thanks to all of you guys for supporting The Crew Show on YouTube.